In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up form tracking using Google Analytics. This is a really good thing to do and I recommend you set it up on every website you have that uses a form because it'll allow you to see exactly where the people are coming from that are completing your forms and you know if the form completions are leads, that's really useful because then you can start to target your marketing efforts on the traffic that is generating those leads. The site that I'm setting it up on in this video is using the Contact Form 7 plugin to generate its forms, but this should work with any Contact Form plugin that you happen to be running. Anyway, I think that's enough intro. Let's get on the computer, get it set up. This is the form we're gonna be tracking today, it's just a simple contact form. And as I said in the intro, you better track any forms on your site that you like. The process is gonna be the same. So let's start by going into the dashboard on this site. Now we're gonna to need to add a little plugin to work with Contact Form 7. If you're using another plugin for your forms, maybe using Gravity Forms, or Ninja Forms, or one of those other ones, then you probably won't need an extra plugin. All you'll need to do is set up a page redirection when someone has filled in the form. Uh, for example, in Gravity Forms, you do this by going into the confirmation area <laughs> within the form, and then there's an option there to choose a page to redirect to it. This will all become clear in a moment. But for Contact Form 7, we do need to add an extra little plugin. So let's go to Plugins and Add New. I'm in contact form seven redirect. This one with the little stars and the arrow is what we want. Let's click install and then we're gonna click activate. Like that. So that plugin's installed and activated. So that will now give us the ability to be able to redirect visitors to a page after they have completed the form. So just to clarify what we're trying to do here, we want to redirect visitors to a page. Once they've completed a form, it'll be like a thank you page, something like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell Google Analytics that when someone lands on that page from the form, they've converted, they've completed a goal, and you know it should be tracked as a goal. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure it will do. <laughs> It'll be clear by the time we get to the end of the video. So let's create that thank you page. You go to pages, add new. It's gonna be a very simple page. So let's call this page, thanks for getting in touch. That's perfect. And because this site is running Elementor, I'm just gonna choose a page template over here. Elementor canvas. I think that'll be fine. We'll have a look in a second. Let's click Publish. Actually, I'm also gonna just change this URL so it's a bit shorter and neater. Let's call it Thanks. Let's click Update. Okay, now I'm just gonna edit the rest of this page with Elementor. As I said, this is an Elementor-powered site. And all the headers and stuff are done with Elementor. So let's add a header. I mean, you can just do whatever you like with your page. It depends obviously what theme and page builder you're running, but you just basically want a nice little page that says thanks for getting in touch. <laughs> uh, this one I need to add a header. There we go. Like that, and then I'm just gonna add some text here. Maybe even a heading will be fine. Centered. And then some text underneath. Text you as soon as possible. If your message is urgent, please call us on, what's the phone number? It's over there, 0704-927-276. I think I want this centered. Let's just go into style, and center that, click update. So let's have a little look. So that looks quite good. I think it needs a little bit of space. Um, so let's do that. I'm not gonna play around with this page for too long, don't panic. We'll be getting onto the, the, the tracking bit in a second. So let's just um, adjust this, uh, where am I going? Advanced 
I think we need a bit of padding at the top and the bottom, quite a bit, if I'm honest. Mm, maybe 200. It's probably too much now, but well, let's have a look. No, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. That's all done. I think we need to publish this page. So let's just go back to the dashboard. Oh, it kind of is published, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go, that's all done, ready to go. So now we can set up a goal within Google Analytics. Now I happen to have Analytics open over here in another tab. And what we need to do is go into the admin. And then over here we've got goals. And we're gonna create a new goal. And then I'm gonna select uh, contact us. Then continue. The name is contact us, add a bit more. There we go. Goal ID one, goal set one is fine. And the type is destination, let's click continue. And then the destination equal to, and then we just paste in this bit and a bit after the domain, so it's slash thanks slash. Pop that in like that. Can add a value if you want, so maybe each uh, contact form completion or each lead is worth, you know, ten bucks. You could type ten in there. It's really up to you. And you can specify a funnel if you've got a few pages that people have to go through in order to complete the form. You might want to complete the funnel. Not really worth it on this one as we've just got the one page. So let's click save. There we go. So there's one more step and that is we've just got to set up the redirect on the form. So let's go back into the dashboard, go into contact, edit the contact form. And then we're gonna to go to the redirect settings. We're gonna choose our thanks for getting in touch page. And that's it, let's, uh, let's just save it over here. So you wanna do the same thing with your contact form, basically look for that redirect setting and then redirect um, your forms to your thank you page and you know set up the goal in analytics and then, then you're done. So let's test it out. It says I've not saved when I have saved, so whatever, let's leave. I'm just gonna sign out of the site just to make sure that analytics is uh, gonna track me properly. Often the analytics plugins won't track a logged in user. There we go, let's go to contact. Put my name in. Test. Click submit. Oh, yeah, I didn't like the phone number. Didn't think it would. Phone numbers generally have to be numbers, don't they? There we go, and we got redirected to our thank you page. I'm not sure Google Analytics will have tracked it just yet. Um, because it sometimes takes a few moments. Just refresh. No, nothing in the past seven days um, conversions. Let's just jump into a goals report and just see if there's anything in there. So you find all of the goals under um, under conversions, <laughs> and then goals uh, overview. Let's set the date to today. No, there's nothing yet, but then there is a delay on Google Analytics and this kind of stuff. So um, the data will start appearing shortly, I'm sure. Okay, through the magic of video editing, I've been able to jump us into the future a little bit. And here we go. I tested the format twice in the end. And yeah, there's two goal completions that are showing. It did take a couple of hours for them to actually show within Analytics. So if you don't see yours straight away, don't panic. But we can see they're working nicely. And then if I go into Source Medium, See that they're both direct because they are, because I visited the website just by typing in the address and that's what direct means. So we're all working and we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got your form tracking all set up. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get. And I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. And why not check out my vlog channel? Just click on my other face up there. 
And here is a couple of videos chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.